With the flames mostly doused around the city, a first-hand look at what a wildfire can do. These pictures were filmed by Al Jazeera's Andre Khalil on a guided media tour, the first inside the community since the evacuation last Tuesday. On the way in, street after street of what were once family homes, now ash and rubble. A weary fire chief acting as tour guide sums up what his team was fighting. This was a horrible fire. Whatever we tried to do, it went a different way and it found some more fuel. So we did our very best. Towering flames and superheated air consumed houses and possessions in minutes. This is the worst hit neighborhood where little is left standing. All around, evidence of what families left behind. But watch as the tour continues past the devastation, a sudden transition to normalcy. What's remarkable is 90% of the city was not damaged by the inferno from the forest. That's 25,000 buildings still intact, awaiting people's return. The city was surrounded by an ocean of fire only a few days ago. But Fort McMurray and the surrounding communities have been saved, and they will be rebuilt. Here's what residents were fleeing just a week ago. More than 80,000 got to safety with no major casualties. The word miracle is on everyone's lips. Now officials are working on a timetable for the evacuees' return. The 14 helicopters and other water bombing aircraft played a huge role in this battle, as did the more than 500 firefighters on the ground. They're still in action as the final smoldering outcrops are put out. So for now, Fort McMurray is no longer facing the onslaught of the flames, but to keep it that way, it's going to be necessary to do a number of things. Of course, cooler, wetter weather is important, but so is maintaining open spaces like this. They call them fire breaks. And, if necessary, fighting this fire from the air as they've been doing all along. Last week, it seemed a city would be lost. Now, hope has returned. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, near Fort McMurray, Alberta.